It's said that when a ping pong ball reaches a certain speed, its impact can rival that of a bullet. To test this claim, Adam built an air-powered ping pong ball cannon. At maximum pressure, the ball could only reach a speed of 140 miles per hour. But that wasn't nearly fast enough, so he decided to go bigger, much bigger. He built an 80-foot-long barrel and attached a larger air tank. One. With this setup, the ping pong ball blasted straight through honeycomb cardboard and even left a visible dent on the wooden board behind it. The speed? A staggering 450 miles per hour. To show just how powerful that is, he set up a glass of red wine as a target. Before the ball even appeared, the wine exploded into the air as if it had evaporated. Then the ball came through, and everything was obliterated. It was fast, but still not fast enough. After consulting with physicists, they came up with a new method. All it required was a 36-inch PVC pipe. First, a ping-pong ball is placed inside. Then both ends of the pipe are sealed with tape. Next, all the air inside is sucked out creating a vacuum. When one end is punctured, the pressure difference causes the ball to launch forward instantly. That's the theory anyway. In practice, the ball vanished in the blink of an eye. The test was a huge success. After a few technical adjustments, what? they managed to push the speed to 375 miles per hour, but they still weren't satisfied. They tried applying the same technique to the original 80-foot barrel. What happened next was totally unexpected. The ping-pong ball stopped right at the barrel's exit. So, what went wrong? 